In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of the path. The worker there will try his best to keep a look of indifference on his face while handing you a key which, as he will explain, belongs to an unused supply closet in the building. If only it were that simple. Upon locating and unlocking the correct door, you will find yourself staring out into a narrow, winding road, suspended in an endless void, the sight only occasionally obstructed by massive outlines of things best left undescribed. To fall off the path is to be thrown out of reality itself, a nightmarish eternity of inconceivable horror awaits anyone who either stumbles into the void by their own error or is dragged off the path by a timeless monstrosities that reside on the outskirts of creation. If you should ever feel as if you are being watched while traveling through this piece of oblivion, the best chance you have is to immediately freeze in place and hold your breath. Continue to do so until your audience either loses interest or moves in to claim you. If the latter should occur, feel free to scream as hard as you want, though your screams will fall on deaf ears. At the end of the path lies a door that leads to a small dirt caked room. Propped up against the room's far wall is a heavily emancipated corpse. What's left of its skin has long since blackened with necrosis. Approach it and ask one question. How did they acquire guardians? In response to your query, the corpse will begin to stir. A subtle red glow will emanate from its eye sockets as it lifts its head and begins to whisper the long macabre history of the holders. It will speak of unholy packs and unspeakable atrocities. Within time, its tale will touch upon every form of evil known to man or god, and few forms that neither can comprehend. Furthermore, if told the title of any holder, the corpse will reveal that holder's secret and the meaning of the object that it protects. Well, almost any holder. The holder of the path will never go into detail about itself. This is because the ghoul hopes that you will not question why it seems to be lacking an object. Truth be told, the ominous glow from within the ghoul's eye sockets is actually the shining light of the object that was somehow sealed inside of its skull. That object is Object 7 of 538. Its holder will do anything to keep you away from it.